A month after the one-punch death of Brisbane teenager Cole Miller, politicians can't agree on how to stop it happening again. Experts say they have the answers, but politicians think they know better. Just one month ago, one death too many and a city crying out for action. It's not fair, it's not right and it's not going to continue. This was supposed to be the answer. This is a, a good bill with measures that will see a change in our society. But the politicians can't agree. We owe it to a whole lot of Queenslanders to do things, but we certainly owe, we, we need to make sure that we get it right. MPs from both sides toured the state, took expert evidence and in the end split down party lines anyway. It's typical, unfortunately, in politics. The government is furious. The majority of Queenslanders say they back these laws. It's about time the LNP listen to the people of Queensland. Lauren Springborg says there are cities like Wollongong that's had greater success reducing violence without lockout laws. The government says for every hour you close early, you cut violence by 20 per cent. Significantly reduces assaults, reduces sexual assaults, makes our towns and cities safer. The laws talk about takeaway sales, education, cheap drinks and a host of other measures, not just opening hours. Anyone who thought some good could come of tragedy has a right to feel politics is part of the problem, not the solution. Treating the people of Queensland like mugs. Live to Shane Doherty at State Parliament. Shane, can they agree on anything? Well, how's this for logic, Andrew? The six members of the committee can't agree on much, but if by some miracle the parliament passes these laws next week, they all agree that the laws ought to be reviewed after 18 months. The opposition says the community itself is divided on this issue. I guess that's why we look for leaders, Andrew. All right, Shane, thank you.